Hello, Mark Major here. This is the Action Figuratorium, and I have another customization tutorial video I'm going to be doing today. We're going to be taking this um, kid's really dumb cannon, and we're going to make it look like some sort of 100-year-old um, ghost pirate cannon. It's going to be great, so stick around. All right, the uh, piece in question, let me pull it up here, is this thing. All right, so I got this out of a bag of toys at Goodwill. I paid $3.99, or excuse me, $2.99. There was a uh, 1 18th scale R2-D2 in there, one of the more modern ones, 2000 something something, who knows, and a bunch of other crap. There's a bunch of cool stuff in there, and there's also a bunch of junk, and there was this, this cannon. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to try and make it look like an old piece of cast iron cannon and then we're going to add a bunch of rust to it to make it look like it's been out for kind of a long time. So um, the next thing that I do in this uh, phase is um, I start with one of these empty cups. Uh, these are great. You get them from uh, taco joints. You get your sauce in them. Anyways, I am adding some coffee. And I just want to say, as a coffee lover, do not waste any good coffee on these projects. There's plenty of terrible coffee beans out there I'm sure you can find to use for these. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to put some coffee grounds into a um, little cup. And then you're going to get some cheap, cheap, cheap paint. I got this black acrylic paint from the Dollar Tree. It's a buck twenty-five for a tube of this stuff, and look, you just goop it in there, and then uh, you take a brush, uh, not unlike this one here, right, and um, you mix it up, mix it up into kind of a, what I would call a slurry, and um, and then let's see what you want to do is you want to start painting your uh, your cannon with it, and it's going to end up looking a bit like this. Now this is me applying the last of it. Um, if this was like uh, some sort of really important project, I would not have painted the um, the parts that hold the cannon. I would have painted those wood. I wouldn't have made them look like cast iron, but because I used a lot of grounds and I used a lot of paint, I got to use it up. I decided I'm just going to go ham and cover everything on this. Now, this at this point does look pretty terrible. However, it will... Uh, dry and as you add more paints and stuff a lot of this um, texture will crumble off as you can see I went a bit ham on it um, you're probably gonna use a little less coffee beans this is the next part of the process now some people could have just been happy with the caster and what I do is I take this uh, chaotic red by um, uh, who makes this uh, the Army Painter War Paints is the brand I'm currently uh, shoveling, and um, and then after that I, I take a sponge and I go over it with I go over it with my orange, and um, sometimes after the orange I go over it with the yellow. So we're gonna kind of rotate in this sort of brownish rust red, this orange, and this yellow by just uh, you know sort of dabbing spots where you would find rain to accumulate and then roll down and you can see this is about where it's approaching this thing is starting to look uh, pretty cosmically gross there's just no coming back from this this thing is clearly beyond weathered um, is this even a usable cannon could we have figures with this thing uh, using it i doubt it so there's uh some shots of the two different uh paints I'm using. Orange Fire is uh, the one and Babe Blonde is the other one. And there we go, just sponging some more on. If you sponge too much on, you just go over it with something else. After about three or four layers, it starts to look pretty dang different. Um, possibly cool, possibly not cool. Not sure how sort of gross looking you want your... Um, uh, your can it almost looks like this is maybe uh, an old sewer pipe or something uh, also good for that kind of stuff but this is one way of taking this ridiculous 
kids canon and uh, and turning it into something that can at least sit in the background of your dioramas and uh, and look like maybe it's an authentic piece that should be there I don't know I don't know you let me know if you think that that's a good one or uh, or kind of a scam as far as like sort of just throwing a bunch of crap on something and making it look different but that is how you achieve results with that I will catch everybody next one mm -hmm.